Do you guys know what I love watching? What? what? I love seeing what you guys eat every day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but let's show them. Okay. Oh my let's God. do it. That's it. Let's keep it. Cut. Roll the intro. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nisha. I'm Nicole. I'm Danny. And I'm Hannah. And this is The, the Vegan, Vegan View. View. Cheers. Cheers. Hey guys, today on The Vegan View, we are doing another What I Eat a Day video. So we're gonna show you what four different vegans eat on a typical day. But today we are gonna all try to do our recipes kind of fall themed. Who knows what they're gonna be, we don't really know. But today's video is really exciting because it is sponsored by New Air. And if you guys saw our last What I Eat a Day video, you know that I am obsessed with the air fryer. I use it literally every day. So we're really excited that they are giving you guys a discount code for their Magic Chef digital air fryer, the extra large one. We'll have a link and a discount code in the description box down below so you guys can check that out. But if you don't have an air fryer, I highly recommend it. I use it literally every day. And this is a great deal. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you want to see what we eat, then just keep watching. Hey guys, it's Hannah. So for breakfast today, I decided to do a cinnamon apple parfait. And I don't usually do breakfast this fancy, but staying true to the fall theme, I wanted to do something a little fun. So basically you're just gonna cut up some apple slices, put them in a pan with some water, let it steam for a little, add a little bit of coconut oil, let it steam again. And then you're gonna add some maple syrup and I'll put all the measurements in the description box below. Um, yeah, maybe measure it properly, unlike me. <laughs> um, and then you're gonna add some sea salt, some cinnamon, and some vanilla extract. And then you're just gonna let it sit in the pan until it bubbles up and kind of absorbs all of the liquid. And that's what it's gonna look like. And I like this because it makes enough for a few breakfasts. So then I'm just gonna top it with some of this So Delicious vanilla yogurt and some of this pumpkin seed and flax granola. If you guys haven't watched our yogurt taste test, definitely watch that. But yeah, this is a really delicious fall breakfast. And then of course I have to have some coffee and I have a full tutorial on my IGTV where I show you guys how I make my coffee. And the only difference is I've been trying out this almond milk for a little bit and I really like it. Hey guys. Danny. So for breakfast today, I'm going to have some of this pumpkin spice granola that I got at Whole Foods. And I'm just going to have it with some of this oatly oat milk that I really like. And then I'm going to top it with some sliced bananas and some blueberries. This is definitely a lot sweeter than what I normally have for breakfast. I usually just have oatmeal, but you know, I wanted something fall themed. And sometimes I want a little treat in the morning. What's up guys, it's Nicole and I have made some pumpkin overnight oats for this day. The first thing I did last night was I mixed together some quick cooking oats with some unsweetened soy milk, a capful of vanilla, and a handful of raisins. And then I stirred that up and in another bowl I mixed together half of a cup of pumpkin just straight out of a can with a big pinch of nutmeg. You could also do cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice and if you wanted to add some maple syrup you could definitely do that as well because pumpkin can be a little bit bitter on its own. And then you just layer this in a jar with some apples and some pecans and let it sit overnight. It takes like literally five minutes. In the morning, if I was busy, I would just put some maple syrup on this and some almond butter and take it to go. But I actually had a little bit more time, so I wanted to make it more fall themed and a little more cozy. So I just put it into a bowl, swirled it all together, and then topped it with some vegan yogurt and a big swirl of almond butter. And then I just took a toothpick and made kind of a web, like a spider web out of it because Halloween is right around the corner. This is a fun thing to do if you have kids too, or if you're just are a kid at heart. And then I just topped it with some maple syrup and some pecans. And this is super good. I like waiting until the morning to add the maple syrup because the apples and the raisins kind of sweeten it a little bit naturally. So I like to be able to adjust the sweetness in the morning. And this is just a really nice breakfast, especially since it's still hot, but you want fall vibes. It's nice to have a cold breakfast that's still kind of fally. Before breakfast, I had a big glass of water. With my breakfast, I had a cup of coffee. And after my breakfast, I had one of these multivitamins that I take every day and I love them. Hi guys, it's Nisha. So I wanted to try this Bob's Red Mill muesli. It's a fruit and seed kind and you can eat it hot or cold, cooked or overnight. I've been trying to eat more like oat stuff and I thought I would really like this because it has coconut and berries and seeds 
and I really like those things. And so I poured about a cup and a half of that in a bowl and then I added my own fruits. I had some strawberries in the fridge and then these coffee cake persimmon slices from the farmer's market. They're like normal persimmons, except you don't have to wait till they're super soft to eat them. You can still eat them while they're rather firm. And they have kind of, they kind of taste like a pumpkin coffee cake. I mean, if you use your imagination, but I really love persimmons. They're one of my favorite fall fruits. Then I added some of this pumpkin pie spice from Frontier Co-op. I love this spice. It is so tasty. They've already pre-mixed the pumpkin pie flavors like clove, cinnamon, nutmeg, and the perfect ratio. So it tastes like pumpkin pie, which is great. So if you wanna throw this like in a latte or whatever, really useful. And then I used my favorite soy milk. It's the Eden Organic Soy. And I poured that over everything and I mixed it together and I actually let it sit in the fridge overnight and added a splash of maple syrup. But oh my gosh, I really didn't like it in the morning once I ate it. Um, I think I just have to come to the realization that oats aren't my thing. So I ate all the fruit off of that and then I just made some of these frozen hash browns with the chili lime seasoning from Trader Joe's. Hey guys, it's Hannah again. So for lunch, I'm gonna be doing a fall vegetable salad. And I really like Trader Joe's because they have a lot of these already like pre-cut vegetables that make it super easy if you need something quick during the week. So I'm just gonna be putting the vegetables in the pan with a little bit of oil, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of water to steam it up. And then I am boiling the beets. And then I have already made some quinoa in my rice cooker. And I'm just gonna be adding that on top of a little bit of kale that I massaged with lemon juice. You definitely wanna massage your kale or steam it so that it's a little less bitter and crunchy. And then I just added the vegetables on top and added a tahini dressing. And it was a really nice, filling, healthy salad for lunch. The tahini dressing is just some tahini, water, apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper and garlic. Just makes a really easy, creamy dressing that goes really well with these types of vegetables. Okay, so for lunch, I'm gonna be making these potatoes. I found this bag of mixed little potatoes. I thought they were cute at Trader Joe's. And I'm gonna serve that with some of this hearty minestrone soup from also Trader Joe's. And I'm also gonna saute some kale with garlic powder and nutritional yeast and a little bit of salt. So I just diced up these potatoes, seasoned them with a little bit of seasoning salt, and I'm going to be cooking them in the air fryer. I love cooking in the air fryer because it usually takes about half the time as the regular oven does, and you don't have to wait for it to preheat. And I feel like it makes things like potatoes, especially like a little extra crispy, which I really like. And just 20 minutes in the air fryer, and these are nice and crispy. Hey guys, it's Nicole again, and I was meeting a friend out for a belated birthday brunch for her, so we went out to this place called Jaffa in LA. It's on 3rd Street. If you haven't been, it's so good. It is an Israeli restaurant that has a ton of vegetarian and vegan options. A lot of things can be made vegan, and so we started with a mocktail. This is pineapple juice that has some ginger and turmeric, I think, and they shake it and they put it over ice, so it felt like a cocktail. It was a little bit fizzy, really, really good, and we cheers to her birthday and then we went ahead and had a appetizer this was a sweet potato hummus that was very good mostly in part because of this delicious bread that is all vegan and it's warm and they make it in one of those wood fire ovens so it has those really nice crispy bits so good and then i got the eggplant shawarma i got it as a grain bowl this is so flavorful it's crazy that everything in this bowl is just vegetables but somehow it comes together and tastes so flavorful and so good Good. and obviously those colors are really fun to look at too so this was excellent I highly 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 recommend it for lunch I had this crispy buffalo chickpea salad with a dill ranch it's one of my favorite unhealthy salads ever and it's super simple to make you just toss some Frank's Red Hot with some nutritional yeast and you just keep adding little bits of nutritional yeast. I have the exact measurements on an Instagram post if you wanna see the recipe, I will link it down below. And then I added some garlic powder and a sprinkling of salt and you just wanna kind of form this crust so that the sauce sticks on the chickpeas and so that they get crispy and crunchy. And then I just lay those out on a flat sheet in the oven and make sure they're like evenly spread out so they don't all cook together. And while you're baking, you can make the dill ranch. I've done this recipe for years, like since I started YouTube. So I also have that linked in my Instagram post. 
Then I just combined everything together and drizzled a little dressing on and it was delicious. If you love vegan buffalo wings and ranch and chickpeas as much as I do, you gotta try this. It's so yummy. Hey, it's Hannah. For dinner, my boyfriend and I went to Thai food and there's this vegan Thai food restaurant in LA um, that we went to and it's so delicious. And I love Thai food in the fall because I love anything that's super warm and cozy and Thai food is amazing for that. So we just shared some vegetable dumplings, some jasmine tea, some of this tofu pad thai, and then also yellow curry, which is like one of our favorite things in the whole world. It was amazing. We did not have any room for dessert, but the dessert there is also super good. So that's what we have for dinner. Hey guys, it's Danny again. So for dinner, I'm going to be making this spaghetti squash, and I'm gonna serve it with this roasted garlic marinara sauce that I got at Trader Joe's. I'm also gonna put these steamed lentils on top, which are super yummy and super nutritious. And I'm also going to throw some steamed broccolini on the side, cause trying to eat healthy, you know, trying to do good. I don't know what I'm doing though. Hey guys, it's Nicole again. I'm gonna be making a pumpkin lasagna and for this I'm going to need a cashew cream sauce. So before I got started, I just soaked some cashews in some boiling water. I know a lot of times it's hard to actually remember to soak cashews the night before or to have cashew butter on hand can be expensive sometimes. So I buy cashews in bulk and if I need to use them, I'll just pop them in some boiling water and let them sit for like 15 minutes while I prep everything else. And then another little trick I have is to grab a bowl to use as your garbage bowl. This is something that Rachel Ray taught me, actually not me personally, but from years of watching 30 Minute Meals growing up on the Food Network. Uh, she always had a garbage bowl nearby and you can just put, you know, the vegetable stems in there, you can put whatever wrapping in there and that way it all goes in there and then you can just empty the bowl into the trash at the end. It's such a small step, but it actually makes cooking so much easier. I feel like anything you can do to make cooking more exciting and more fun is something you should do. Anyway, I went ahead and just chopped up the leftover onion that I had and one clove of garlic and I sauteed that in some water. And then after like two minutes, I just washed some mushrooms. This is like half of a container of baby portobello mushrooms and I destemmed them and then instead of chopping them, I just ripped them up and then I sauteed them with a little bit of fresh thyme. You could do dried thyme as well. The trick to getting the onions and mushrooms to really brown without using oil is to have the heat on kind of medium high heat and then let them stick a little bit and once you see that browning on the pan, you add a little bit of water and it'll bubble up and then you use a wooden spatula to gently kind of scrape the bottom of the pan and you're deglazing the pan that way. And you can do this with water, you can do it with veggie stock, you can do it with white wine. There's tons of different options and it really gives a lot of flavor and caramelization to the onions and the mushrooms. And then I just made a pumpkin sauce. Again, so easy, just pumpkin out of a can, big pinch of some nutmeg and then lots of salt and pepper. Go ahead and taste it and if it tastes good, then you're good to go. If not, maybe add a little bit more salt. And then we're gonna move on to making the cashew sauce, which is just putting the cashews into a blender along with milk, some salt and pepper, obviously almond milk, not like regular milk, ew, gross. Um, but we're gonna do salt, pepper, ground sage. If you can't find ground sage, check out your local Target. That's where I found mine. And it gives it such a nice flavor. Sage and pumpkin together is so good. It's very folly. And then I also did a little bit of nutritional yeast to make it kind of like a cheese sauce. And then you blend it on up. The blender does all the work for you. Love that, it becomes a nice creamy sauce. And then all you have to do is assemble your lasagna. So I do a layer of the white sauce, add some noodles, and I do a layer of the pumpkin, and add some noodles, and then I do the veggies. And then I like to do some vegan Parmesan cheese. And then I baked this for 45 minutes at 350 degrees until the noodles were nice and soft and the top was golden brown. I let the lasagna sit for like 10 minutes and then I served it up with some roasted veggies. This is just some frozen broccoli and leftover Brussels sprouts that I needed to use up. And I served it with some hummus that I could dip the veggies in and this was so good. I ended up having two pieces and I think my favorite part was how amazing my kitchen smelled while I was making dinner. So good. So for dinner, I had the soba noodle soup. This is also a recipe I've made before on my channel. It's a really quick and easy dinner and I just love all the color from the purple cabbage 
and the red bell pepper and the broccoli. And honestly, if something has noodles in it, I'll eat it. I also wanted to show you my chopsticks. There's these reusable chopsticks you can stick in the dishwasher and they're like weighted, so it's super easy to use them. They're silicone, so they have grip and they have these little edges on the end. So if you have trouble using chopsticks or you just want reusable chopsticks, these are my go-to. I carry them around with me. I use them all the time. I just love eating with chopsticks. After dinner, Jesse and I really like to bake during fall. So we made my pumpkin muffin recipe in these little tiny mini bunt pans. These pumpkin muffins are famous in my family because one of my best friends growing up, he would always ask my mom to make him these pumpkin muffins for his birthday and I always think of him when we make them. This is actually an oil-free vegan version of that same recipe and it is just a tradition to make them. I also made them into these fun little shapes. They have maple leaves, acorns, and pumpkins. I thought it was so cute. I will link the bunt pan down below, but I think you can get it cheaper at Home Goods, so definitely check that out. And they're just so moist and cakey. And we ended up eating it with this apple butter that Jesse brought home from Boston. And it's it was such a good fall treat. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked our What I Eat in a Day, our fall themed What I Eat in a Day. Please be sure to check out our individual channels and social medias, as well as our Facebook page. And we'll see you guys next time in a new video. Bye. Bye.